Mixed reality headsets are cutting-edge pieces of hardware that could drastically alter how we engage with digital content. Multiple leaks have surfaced in recent months ahead of Apple's highly anticipated mixed reality headsets release in 2023. Futuristic equipment. Not to the latest information suggests the rumored headgear will have a separate battery pack. For users, what does this mean? Let's dig in and find out the specifics. Let's begin! AR VR headset external battery. There are already a lot of new VR AR headsets out this year, from devices like the PlayStation VR 2 and the Vive XR Elite to the MetaQuest 3. Amongst all these devices, the use of an integrated battery remains common, so you'd expect something similar with the release of Apple's mixed reality headset, apparently called the Reality Pro. But it looks like the first generation device could take a very different route. According to Mark Gurman, instead of an inbuilt battery design, Apple is going with an external battery pack that looks like an iPhone MagSafe battery pack and is about the size of an iPhone but thicker. The presence of an external battery is something most people were not expecting, so it begs the question, how would it work? We'll fill you in on that very soon, but for now, let's discuss a few things about the headset's battery life. Battery life. Currently, most AR VR headsets offer poor battery life. Disappointing. On average, headsets can only do about 2 hours on a charge. Apple's Reality Pro headset features two 4K screens and Apple M2 silicon, so it's expected to use quite a lot of power. Usually, that wouldn't be an issue since long battery life has been a big selling point of Apple's M2-based goods. However, it seems unlikely that these Reality Pro headsets will follow suit. According to German's report, the Apple AR VR headset will only last for two hours on a charge. For what it's worth, it's pretty much industry standard, but considering the high expected cost of the headset, this is such a letdown. We'll go into detail about the price and whether it's worth buying later in the video, so stay tuned. Hopefully, Apple will work on battery life in the subsequent models. Subscribe to our channel and keep up with any future updates. You got it. How would it work? Unlike Apple, most mixed reality headsets on the market have their batteries usually built in. However, as we said earlier, Apple is going in a new direction with its external battery pack. It's essential to know how to get around it. So how does it work? According to German, the charging wire for the headset has a round tip that snaps into place with a magnet. You turn the connection clockwise to lock it in and keep it from coming loose while it's being used. The cord connects to the battery pack, and the two pieces become inseparable. Given how short the battery life is, it's likely that Apple will sell extra battery packs separately so that you can swap them out and keep using the device. That's convenient. Still, that wire that can't be taken apart would make things more complex than they should be. USB-C charging. Over the past few months, several news outlets have reported the potential move to USB-C on Apple devices as a move forced by an EU mandate. Most of the attention has been on Apple's upcoming flagship smartphones, so it wasn't clear if the company would also move its first-generation mixed-reality headset. Well, the answer is pretty clear now. Mark Gurman says that the mixed reality headset's battery pack can only be charged with a USB-C link, and the device will come with the same adapter as a MacBook Pro. The headset itself will have two ports, one for a USB-C link and another proprietary port for charging. In any case, the universality of USB-C should benefit the Reality Pro headset since it will most likely offer compatibility with other headsets. Is it worth it? There's been a lot of speculation that suggests that Apple's Reality Pro headset will become the headliner in the industry. Finally, some real competition! Currently, devices like Meta's $1000 Quest Pro has about a 2-hour playtime before requiring a charge, whereas the cheaper but less powerful Quest 2 has a 3-hour gameplay. The Apple Reality headset is expected to sell at $3000, which is significantly pricier for the same amount of playtime. Does that invalidate the device then? Not at all. According to German's article, the Reality Pro should ship with a number of the standard iPad apps optimized for augmented reality. These apps include books, cameras, FaceTime, mail, music, Safari, and more. In addition, the package will also feature a wellness app similar to Fitness Plus, 
which will include health and fitness elements in addition to live sports and gaming apps. Let us know in the comments section what you think about Apple's mixed reality headset. Despite the controversies surrounding the decision to use an external battery pack and the relatively short battery life, Apple's mixed reality headset could be a game changer. That's for sure. Some analysts believe the category could eventually surpass the iPhone as Apple's top flight product. Apple will likely show off this headset at the upcoming WWDC 2023 conference, and will keep you posted on any further developments. Speaking of WWDC 2023, Apple's new health app features are slated to be unveiled at the event, although some massive leaks are already in the wind. Check out our upcoming video, and find out all the details.